Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, ruler of heaven and earth, the seas and the fountains of waters. Lord, we are here to thank you for uh, this preparation day for the Sabbath that is rolling on. We're here to thank you for keeping us alive. There have been hurricane, dear Lord, hurricanes, dear Father, but yet you kept us alive, and we just want to say thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, thank you for sending your son to die on Calvary's cross for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done and what you continue to do for us, providing us with food, raiment, and shelter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we want to thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Good morning. For another day. Surely God is grateful. He's wonderful. I want to thank him for keeping me, for protecting us. Oh, yeah. This, in that past, when I look and see the devastation in some Mercy, community. mercy. It's no good that I have done. Why I have a few treats down and light wind, and, but God is good. Yes. God is He's faithful. And his mercy is everlasting, his truth endure it to all generations. Hallelujah. Glory to you this morning. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I don't take anything lightly for granted. Mm. This that I am still here and still alive. Yes. It's, it's wonderful when I see so many people who have lost, lost their lives. Mercy, the mercy. Speak to these hurricanes. Oh, God is so faithful and wonderful. And I Hallelujah. He kept us. Lord. Hallelujah. Give him glory. Give him praise. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy this morning. Thank you for keeping each and every one on this line. Lord yes. God, my family and neighbor one, my neighbors, my communities. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Give that you give unto me, I will use it to give you glory and to tell others about you and your goodness as well. Yes. Just continue to sing to the old rugged cross that one day we may exchange it for a Oh, word, yeah. For whom we are only passing through. So let us continue to live for God and do that which is right for Him. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. For the breath of life, thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for it. I want to thank God for his loving kindness and his tender mercy. Thank you for his grace. Thank you for the protective care. Just want to. No, I'm so unblessed because so many lives have lost. I have mercy. Weeks of this hurricane. Not only the hurricane, but around 38. Neither after the hurricane. Yes. It is so bad. So I am so grateful and thankful to God. And now He has filled my life. I thank Him for my family members. Thank Him for each and every one on this prayer line. Yes. I just want to bless His name and honor Him, glory Him by His name because He's an awesome God. Thank you for friends and my brethren. And, um, thank you for being so good to me. I love him and I to praise his name and to lift him up as I go from day to day. Praise the Lord. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Hey, man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Me on my way. Oh, yes. And uh, guide me and strengthen me. And show me the way to the Okay. Show me on my way and thank him for yes, yes, guiding yes. me and strengthen me. And show me the way to walk. And just thank you for everybody that's uh, on the prayer line, Father. Thank you for uh, your goodness and your mercy. Yeah. I just can't tell it all, you know. Back in here for just waking me up, starting me on my way, and being alive. Thank him for my children, my grandchildren, my great grand. Thank him for everyone on my list. I just thank him for Berean Village. Yeah. Thank him for uh, my friends and my relatives. And just everybody. And bless the sick and afflicted, Father. Just thank you for everything that. God has done for us, uh, Father. Uh, thank you for uh, your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for allowing me to have a place to lay my head. Praise the you. Lord. And, uh, for good health, Father. I've uh, been a good this morning. Thank you for this life and this strength. And thank you for his mercy and his goodness that ever lasts him, Father. Um, just thank you for the Sabbath that's rolling in. Oh, yeah. Thank you to do another Sabbath. Thank you, Father, for just your goodness and your mercy. And you help me to do that will in our prayers. And uh, all of this. Oh, I just can't tell it all. Amen. Hallelujah. Now has done and continue to bless each and every one of us, even on the prayer line. Yes. Bless Brother, Brother uh, Michael for allowing us to. Uh, have him to teach Give us God a praise. Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and your mercy, Father, for everything. You got prayers and our thanks and our forgiveness. Of all the things, through your only Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and that's it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. All right, Sister Patricia. All right, you go ahead and I give your testimony and then sing a song, okay? Okay. Uh, I give thanks to God for all the good things He's doing for us, especially for me. I am uh, in trouble these days, very, very big troubles. Mercy. But no matter what, I am every day and always with my God. I'm not uh, going down. I'm not uh, giving the place to persecutions. But the only place I have is my God. And I give him thanks because I am on prayer line today, these days, because my phone is not, my phone is troubling me too. And uh, the weather too, there is too much rain. But I am alive. I'm still alive. I Praise God. The only thing I can say is more prayer for me and my family, my children. More prayer, more prayer, and more prayer. Thank God. A vile friend, to you believe? This earth there is for oh, praise the Lord. Let the people return and to the Father, to Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he has done. Amen. Praise the Lord. I too want to give God thanks and praise for his life, the life that he gives us, the health, the strength, the daily food, 
I, I just want to give God thanks and praise because, you know, he's the one who keeps us. Whether we want to think about it, whichever way or not, you know, if we're invincible, whatever you want to think about, Christ is the one who keeps us. He's the one who allows us to borrow his breath. And uh, even though my wife goes, goes through what she goes through and I go through, my children, they're not working and they're going through. But I want to say God is awesome because we are all alive. And once there is life, there is hope. So I give God thanks and praise to that. I thank him for this preparation day, for the Sabbath that is rolling on. I just thank him for everything. I thank him for the study. You know, Sister Cynthia says she got her book. So that's praise the Lord. Hallelujah for that. We just give God the praise. I don't know if she get a chance to look in it or if she can look in it now. Because you know, Brother Michael asks just a little bit of questions, right? <clears throat> All right, God is good. And if you study, if you study, then you'll be able to answer some of the questions. And then what you cannot answer, I will. I will. All right, Father God, let my, the words of my mouth be yours. Amen. Oh, okay. Anyone knows what the topic of the lesson is this morning? Signs of divinity. Signs of divinity. When you... When you hear the word divinity, Sister Brown, what comes to mind? Or who? Right, God. God, Christ. You know, because people, uh, the ones who are divine, they are the one who is responsible for our lives. They are the one who is responsible for creating us. Uh, and, and and you could go on and on and on to creating the world, all right? And and uh, we just saw so many different, uh, two different hurricanes that devastated many, many places. Do we believe that God is still in control? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, but these things happen because sin is present in the world. There's so many people who blame God when these things take place, but we should not blame God. That's why Brother Michael says, this world is not our final home. We are just passing what? Through. Yes, yes, yes. It says, will we die if we believe in Jesus? Will we die? Praise the Lord. One person say no, and they're right. You know, we go to sleep, and after death, there is what? Wow. Resurrection. There's a resurrection. Praise the Lord. So we go to sleep, and I give God a praise for assuring us that when the breath leaves our bodies, it is not the final answer, especially when we are faithful to him. You know, if you're worshiping Mohammed, who is still in his grave, then he cannot rise you up. But as we go into the lesson, we will see that Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. Praise the Lord. All right, it says, um, was Jesus existing before he was born from Mary. Sister Judy? Yes. He yeah. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. You know, there are people who try to convince me that Joseph is Jesus's biological father. No. And I, 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 I tell you, I don't know what Bible... Some people read. You know, I don't know. But I know you must have come across a Hebrew Israelite. Uh, you know, that's how they, you know, unfortunately, my son get caught up into all of this. And um, I just want to say, that's what he tried to convince me. I, I, I said, 
I don't want you to, I don't want you to, 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 to come to me and point out this. Get the one who teach you to come on the line. And, uh, we, you know, we were on the line doing, you know, doing the scriptures and stuff. And eventually the scripture is telling us that Jesus was placed in Mary's womb by the Spirit of God. You see? And that's what the scripture says. I don't know if the one who's supposed to be our example, because they said Mary was exposed to be married to Joseph. Mm -hmm. All right. So did he? Did she? They never got. They didn't get married yet. But did they shack up and and, and have sex and have Jesus? No. All right. Let us let us make sure we try to follow the Bible. And, and not try to follow what man put together, okay? Where can we find evidence in the Bible that Jesus was living before he was born from Mary? All right. It's in the Old Testament, but right there in the book of John. If we read John 1, 1 to 3, we can find evidence. John makes sure pointed it out that in the beginning, and you know the text, so I'm not going to read it all, but you get a chance, you read John 1, 1 to 3, and you'll find out what it says. Was Jesus present in the creation of this world? We just told, I just told you to read John 1, 1 to 3. It will tell you that in the beginning was the Word, and Jesus is the Word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right? Have Jesus ever lost his divinity? Have Jesus ever lost his divinity, even when he was a baby? Huh? No. no, no, he never lost his divinity. And as we studied this week's lesson, we'll find out different times when his divinity came into play. All right? What did Jesus take up on him when he was a baby, what did he take up on him? He took up his divinity from he was a baby. He worked, he, he, he did many miracles that point out that he is divine. Praise the Lord. All right. Were the miracles Jesus did? Cause many people to see him in different ways? And the answer is yes. Praise the Lord. People saw him in different ways. Some people praise him because of the miracle. And some people wanted to kill him because of the miracles. But it pointed out that Jesus is the Messiah. Praise ye the Lord. Going over to Sunday's section, it says, The feeding of the 5,000. Praise the Lord. Was it close to Passover when Jesus fed the 5,000? Was it close to the Passover? <coughs> huh? Yes. Yes, it was close to the Passover. And you know I'm going to ask you what is the Passover. What was the Passover a reminder of? Egypt. Egypt? What happened in Egypt? Huh? Egypt bandits. Well, I, I do understand that. But we have to, when, I, when we talk about the Passover, remember... 
Moses was given instructions to do something. What was Moses given instruction to do? All right, to the kill. The Pharaoh, the let his people go. All right, that's that's too that too. But when we're talking about the Passover, I explained this to you before. Moses was told to kill a lamb and to use the blood from the lamb to put on the lintel and doorpost of the Israelites' home. Because the death angel was going to come and he was going to slay all the firstborns. Yes, sir. Okay? But when the death angel saw the blood, he would pass over. Pass over. All right. Yes. So now, now you know. Okay? Mm -hmm. When I ask this question again, I want to make sure that you all understand that. So it was a certain time, you know, in the year that they have the Passover. And at this, this time when Christ fed the 5,000, it was very close to the Passover. Who took the debt on the cross so that the debt we deserve can pass over us? Who took that debt? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he took the debt for us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, he took the debt for us. You know, are, are there parallels to Moses with Jesus feeding the 5,000? Can we find any parallel? In other words, similar things. And the answer is yes. yes. Because Jesus fed the 5,000 with a few fishes and a few pieces of bread, but the bread kept on multiplying. Yes. 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 In the wilderness, God rained down what? From heaven. Manna. He rained down yeah. manna from heaven. And the manna kept on coming. Yes, All right. How many tribes were they in in the, the in Israel? Twelve tribes. Twelve tribes. How many baskets? How many baskets of fragments were picked up? It was twelve. Do we do we see the similarity here? Yes. Sir. All right. And I'm telling you. It just goes to show that the Bible is fully connected. All right? Did Moses deliver the people out of Egypt? And the answer is yes. He delivered the people out of Egypt. Who came on earth to deliver us out of this sinful earth? Jesus Christ. Can we see the similarities? Praise the Lord. And how it points. How it points to what Jesus Christ did. Praise the Lord. All right. Who is the new Moses? Who is the new Moses? Come on. I know you're supposed. Jesus Christ. Because the same thing that Moses did. Jesus Christ did. He came to deliver us. Moses delivered the children of Israel out of what? Out of Egypt. Is it making sense to you? Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Did Jesus try to make sure the Israelites know who he is? Yes. And the answer is yes. But unfortunately... They were not getting it. All right. And let's go over to here. It says, um, Monday says, surely he is the prophet. But a matter of fact, did everybody believe that he was the prophet, the Messiah? No, no, not everybody. They were looking for an earthly prophet. There you go. 
They were looking for an earthly Messiah. And Messiah means deliverer. Messiah means deliverer. They were looking for an earthly deliverer. All right? We, we will find that out as we go. It says, were the Judeans expecting an earthly Messiah? Were they? Yes. Yes. They were expecting an earthly Messiah to deliver them from the Roman oppression. Okay? Who was the bread of life? Or I should say, who is the bread of life? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> if we eat of the spiritual bread God offers, will we hunger again? No. 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 Because that is a lifetime feeding of Christ. Yes, sir. Can we name one of the I am, because you know Jesus always say, I am, that I am. Can we name one of the I am's that Jesus said he is? All right. I am the, li the life. I yes. The life. I am the bread of life. Bread of life. I am the true vine. True I am life. the light of the world. All right? And we could go on. You know, I am the resurrection and the life. Resurrection and truth and life. Yeah. I am the light of the world. I am the good shepherd. I am the truth and the life. So look how many times he said that he is the life. So if we stay connected to Jesus, we sure enough will get what? We will get life. Praise the Lord and life eternal. Praise yes. God up above. Hallelujah. It says, Have God presented himself as I am to anyone in Moses' time? Yes. Remember when God said to Moses, Moses said, When he go to Pharaoh, who shall I tell him that sent him? And God said to Moses, he said, tell him that I am, that I am. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> and that takes care of it. Yes. That, is, that is complete. Yes. Whatever you want Jesus to be, he is the I am. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> he says, uh, did the people miss who Jesus is? Yes. They missed, they missed who Jesus is. And the crazy thing about it, some of us are missing who Jesus is today. You know, oh, have mercy. Was God interested in giving the people earthly power? Was he interested in giving the people earthly power? And the answer is no. He was not interested. He wanted to give them an heavenly mansion. He, that's what he wants to give them. And, and and I just don't know. I heard Sister Cynthia say she lost power. And I remember the days when I went through hurricane. And I know Sister Sister uh, uh, Brown is from Jamaica. So she must have gone through some kind of hurricane before. You realize that. You can make your house nice, but when the hurricane comes, it is not wondering if your house is nice or not, or skip over the nice one and devastate the ones that are not so nice. It blow them all down. Oh, have mercy. But let's go over to where it says, the healing of the blind man. It says, is someone sickness? Always link to the sin he or she committed? Is someone's sickness always linked to the sin that he or she committed? No. And the answer is no. Because 
What, from how, how long was this man blind from? How long? From birth. From birth. So you want to tell me that, you want to tell me that he committed sin before he was born? Before he was even conscious of what sin is? No. So it was not. It was not any sin that he committed why he was blind. I have a, a young lady that I take, uh, I try to take here with the help of God in Kenya. She was born without eyes. She don't have no eye socket. She don't have no eyes in her head. Where the eyes go, it is totally flat. My, my, my. Did, did she commit a sin why she were born like that? No, it was just because sin is in the world. Yes. Did the disciples thought that it was the blind man's sin that caused him to be blind? Yes, what they thought. Yes, yes they thought. And, and, and I mean, if anybody should be on God's side, it should have been who? The disciples? Disciples. But they saw the thing just like how the people around them saw it. Did Job went through all that happened to him because he sinned? No, he was just... Well, I want to let you know. When you read Job 1, it said Job was an upright and righteous man. That's what it says. So he did not commit any sin, but he went through the living hell. All his children died, his cattle, everything. But he still held on to who? Jesus he held on to Christ. Praise the Lord. Did Jesus... I tell you, you know, uh, let me go ahead and ask this question. Um, what day of the week did Jesus heal the blind man? <clears throat> on the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. And that enraged the religious leaders, okay? It caused them to be really mad with him. They even claimed that, oh, if you were sent from God, have mercy. Would you have done this? All right. Yes. You know, he, he, he did it. But we must understand, we must understand that the Sabbath is sacred, but it is okay to do good on the Sabbath day. And you have to realize that the material, was the material that Jesus used the same that he, uh, to, to, to restore the man's eyesight? Was, this, was it the same material he used to create, it, to create man? Yes. Yes, he used dirt. To put on the man's eyes, letting us know that he is the creator of this world. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, was Jesus called a Sabbath breaker? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But let's go over to the healing of the blind man part two. It says, uh, was Jesus a sinner because he healed the blind man on the Sabbath day? Was he a sinner? No. Was he a sinner? Oh, no, he was not. No. Uh, you know, Jesus was Lord of the Sabbath. Of the Sabbath, yes. So if anyone was supposed to be a genius in teaching us how to do good and to keep the Sabbath, it would have been Sister Cynthia, right? No, Jesus. Jesus! Praise the Lord. All right? It said, did the Pharisees know 
where Jesus came from? Did the Pharisees know where Jesus came from? And the answer is no. They did not. They did not. He came at the right time, according to prophecy. He was doing the right things, according to prophecy. But they did not know who he is. They were too busy accusing him. All right? Of doing the wrong thing. And as we go on, they wanted to do what? They wanted to kill him. To kill him. You know, it says, did the Pharisees question the blind man? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They put him under a, a series of questions, trying to find out. But I love what the blind man says, and we could find all this in John chapter 9, reading from 17 to 34, okay? The blind man says, I don't know who this, I don't know. All I know that I was blind, blind but, now I see. but now I can see. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The Lord. At least someone knows about the divinity of Christ. <clears throat> it says, Did John make sure the leaders and us know who Jesus is and where he came from? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. And I told you, read John 17, John 9, 17 to 34. Praise the Lord, and we will find out who Jesus really is. Really? All right? Was the man, uh, we, we, I asked this question uh, 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 already, I'm going to ask it again. Was the man born blind? Yes. Yes, he was born blind. You know, it say, if Jesus was not from God, could he have restored the man's sight? And the answer is no. He could not have. No, he could not have restored the man's sight. All right? It says, uh, were the leaders busy accusing Jesus instead of getting a glimpse of salvation? Yes. And that's what they were doing. They were missing the point. They were missing the point. All right? Then we want to go over to the resurrection of who? Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. All right, and Thursday's lesson, the resurrection of Lazarus, not Jesus. Oh, okay. All right, if you're looking at your book, that's what it should say. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it says, yeah. uh, were, they, were there a lot of sadness in John 11? And that's where we find the story of Lazarus. Okay? Yes, there were a lot of sadness because someone whom they loved died. All right? It said, what is the name of Jesus' good friend that took sick and eventually died? <coughs> And the name was Lazarus. Lazarus? Yes, the name was Lazarus. Okay? All right. Were the sisters sad that yes. their brother died? Yes. Yes, they were sad. All right? Why did Jesus delay, delayed two days before starting his journey to Lazarus's home. He said Lazarus is sweet. He, he know how to raise him. All right. He know how to raise him. Okay. Well, my point is that he wanted to make sure that Lazarus started to stink. Oh, yeah, that too. Yes. He wanted to make sure that Lazarus started to stink before he go and wrought that miracle because right. you know after uh, three days that's when Jesus Christ stayed in the grave 
the body is not filled with corruption yet or start decaying. Because Jesus' body did not see corruption. But on the fourth day, the fourth day, you have stench. Yes, sir. And the body starts to rot. So he made sure that nobody have any doubt in their mind that Lazarus was dead. Because when he said that Lazarus sleepeth, people said, oh, well, if he's, if he's sleeping, then you can wake him up. But he made sure that it was known that Lazarus was dead. All right? How long was Lazarus dead by the time Jesus reached his home? Four days. Thank you, Sister Brown. Four days. That means he was thinking. Did yes. Jesus made sure that he was thinking before he showed up to let the people that he has power over the dead? To let the people yes. know that he has power over the dead? And the answer is yes. yes. Should it prove to the people that Jesus is God by him raising a rotten Cops? And the answer is yes. But unfortunately, unfortunately, instead of them seeing that Jesus is the Lord and God, they allowed Satan to do all kind of uh, plant and belief, plant unbelief in their minds. Oh, yes. have mercy. Praise yes. the Lord. All right? You know, Christ is the lawgiver, the life giver. Christ is the lawgiver, and he's also the life giver. Praise the Lord. Going over to this section, it says, Is there life in God's words? Yes, it is. Yes. He is the resurrection and also the life. Did Jesus use his word to perform his miracles? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Is the whole Bible is is the whole Bible a manifestation of who Jesus is? And the answer is yes. Have we asked Jesus to fix our faith on his words. If you have not asked Jesus to fix, you know, our faith on his word, we, sh you know, we should do that. So I'm going to say a little prayer that we may, you know, be able to have our faith fixed, not on the pastor, not on people, but on God's words. Father God, help us to fix our faith on your word so that we can have life and life abundantly. Praise the Lord. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. God bless you. Psalms 1914. Love you all. God bless. Bye-bye now.